Good evening, folks, and welcome to the Horror Corner. I'm your host, Sean Patrick Urshan, and it's 2018, folks, a brand new year. And I thought I'd start the new year a little bit differently, doing something a little bit outside the box of my usual routine. Uh, I just wanted to show off a few of the books I got uh, that I really enjoy and that I wanted to share with you folks. And uh, some of the little collectible things I have. I'm not a huge collectible type of guy, but, you know, I have a few little tidbits, you know, that I show off for you guys. Uh, now, I'm not a big, huge horror fiction novel reader. Um... When I read, I tend to read more autobiographical stuff and non-fiction stuff. When it comes to fiction, I kind of can't, for some reason, I just can't get into it. But I do love horror films, of course. And uh, I also love books about horror films. <laughs> and about the making of horror films. And I love seeing uh, the classic shots from the movies. And uh, I love reading about the making of the movies. And I love seeing some on-set, um, behind-the-scenes footage. Uh, so I thought I'd show a few awesome books that I really enjoy that are in that category. And the first one here is an awesome book here uh, called On Set with John Carpenter. Uh, and this is from photographer Kim Gottlieb Walker. Uh, who has worked on several of John Carpenter's classic films. Uh, she actually had a tiny little cameo appearance in Halloween 2, I might add, at the end there. Uh, so, look at that cover. I mean, that says it all. It's, that's an amazing picture right there. With the lovely Jamie Lee Curtis chilling with John Carpenter there on the set. Uh, and you get some really great pictures from Halloween. Um, Halloween 2. With Deborah Hill there. John Carpenter, and um, we've all seen that shot before. <laughs> Look at these great pitches from Halloween. Check out, check this one out with uh, Jamie Lee chilling with Deborah Hill there. Just so cool. I love seeing that. I love this picture too here with chilling with the kids there. Just classic shots, man. It's just amazing. I love these pictures. And, uh, okay, so you get a little bit of the fog there now. Real cool pictures. This is an amazing book. I love it. I just love reading about, uh, how they made the films. And, you know, I love seeing the pictures from the set. Like, look at that. Jamie Lee chilling with, uh, her mother, Janet Lee and Deborah Hill. Look at that. You don't see stuff like this, you know. That's why I love it, you know. There's a little escape from New York, a little snake plisk in there. Classic film, you gotta love Escape from New York. <laughs> awesome, awesome book. I highly recommend it. On Set with John Carpenter by Kim Gottlieb Walker. Grab it now, folks. It's awesome. Uh, now, this one I just picked up. I'm really excited about. I actually got it as a Christmas gift. And uh, I've been wanting it for a long time. And that is the Hammer Vault, if you will. Um, I'm a big fan of Hammer films, uh, especially Hammer horror films. And to me, this thing is like the Bible, you know. Anything you want to know about Hammer Films is in this in in this book, you know, and it's also revised and updated edition, <laughs> so it includes some of the films that actually were made recently, like The Woman in Black, uh, Let Me In. Uh, so yeah, Hammer made a little comeback there in the late 2000s. <laughs> it's just filled with great pitches. Look at that, uh, Peter Cushing and Christopher Lee, the the geniuses from Hammer. Those are the go-to guys. And uh, it just goes over the entire history of Hammer Films. And not just horror, just Hammer Films in general. Some pirate movies, or some of the adventure films, or everything. And of course the classic starring Christopher Lee and Peter Cushing. And the classic horrors like the Draculas and the Frankensteins. 
and it's just tell it's it's got great promotional art. You see like some of the p promotional posters and the and uh, you know stills from the sets and uh, just tells all about the making of each film. Uh, all kinds of stories. Um, all kinds of great promotional stuff. It even talks about some films that weren't even made, and it gives you promotional stills on those, like films like Vampirella they were supposed to make. And there's a great Brides of Dracula. I love that movie. Yeah, it goes in depth on the Curse of the Werewolf there. Oliver Reed, great picture there. Classic. Awesome, awesome stuff. I can't say enough about this film, uh, about this book. It's like, like what I said, the Bible of Hammer films. You want anything you want to know? Like I've learned so much about Hammer just from reading this book, um, and I've seen a lot of the Hammer films, but I had no idea the uh, the amount of uh, stuff that they made. You know, there's the Gorgon. That's a Hammer classic. Um, so if you want to know about Hammer Films, this is the book you need to get. The Hammer Vault. It's everything you want to know about Hammer Films. Next up is a book called Horror Cinema uh, from Jonathan Penner. Another, another awesome book about the history of horror films. I got to show this first picture. It's a still of a leather face from Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. That's an awesome picture. <laughs> All kinds of great pictures. There's Jodie Foster from the legendary Silence of the Lambs. Uh, you got Halloween, of course. You gotta have Halloween in there. There's some amazing pictures. There's for, uh, Hills Have Eyes. And it goes over pretty much every subgenre of horror in detail. You even got the monster movies. You got King Kong there. All kinds of stuff. You got the crime thriller. You got, uh, look at that, it's Curse of Frankenstein. Just great stuff, I love it. Awesome pictures, they even go back to the 50s and stuff like The Bad Seed and all the legendary 50s horror films like uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame. And, you know, where horror started from all the way to, yeah, look at that. <laughs> horror of Dracula, my favorite Hammer film. And this is from, actually, Francis Ford Coppola's Dracula. One with Gary Oldman. There's uh, Joan Crawford and uh, whatever happened to Baby Jean. Now I'm going to show a couple little uh, collectible things. Now uh, this one is Halloween, the 25 Years of Terror DVD, which was a cool documentary about uh, the 25th anniversary celebration which was a big huge convention that they had for the Halloween franchise. Uh, it had all the actors from all the Halloween films coming together, uh, all the directors and producers and it was really cool. Uh, so if you ever get a chance definitely pick this bad boy up but I got this one signed by Tony Moran uh, who played Michael Myers in the original Halloween. Uh, mainly that scene where he gets the mask ripped off after he's strangling Laurie Strode. That's Tony Moran. So I met him actually in Salem, believe it or not. Salem, Massachusetts. <laughs> during Halloween time. And I'm sure you've seen this one in my uh, background. Uh, if you've watched my videos. Uh, this is like probably my favorite collectible. And that is Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Look at that bad boy, and that is signed by the great Cassandra Peterson herself. Uh, and she actually, funny enough, she doesn't like this figure. <laughs> She's like, is that that pasty, ugly one of me? And I was like, "Why? Well, I love this one. <laughs> I'm like, it's not as beautiful as you, but, uh, you know, she got a little blushy. <laughs> Here's another awesome magazine that I just have to show up because I love the uh, I love the cover. Look at that. That's Horror Hound. Again, the lovely Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. I'm a big fan. Um, and it was such a absolute pleasure meeting her. I was just absolutely starstruck, blown away. And she's hilarious. She's just so witty and uh, funny and beautiful. And I love her. <laughs> 
Here's another one of Femme Fatale magazine. This one is also signed by Elvira herself. Very cool, huh? Okay, and then uh, now we're going to show you a little bit about a cool retrospective I got called Michael, which is a res retrospective of the Halloween franchise. And uh, this is actually from ClassicMonsters.com, a great website uh, where you can get all kinds of collections like this about uh, all kinds of horror franchises like the Halloween franchise, uh, Friday the 13th, and they got all kinds of stuff about the Hammer films or the original uh, Universal Monster films, the Draculas and Frankensteins. Uh, but this is just a really cool retrospective that goes in detail over each and every film in the uh, Halloween franchise. You've got Halloween 2 there. It's got all kinds of details about the making of uh, all the actors. You got Jamie Lee there, the lovely Jamie Lee and Donald Pleasance. Uh, and then, yeah, it goes through each and every one in great detail. You got Halloween 3, Halloween 4 there. All kinds of great pictures to go with it. And here they go over each actor in all the Halloween films and their retrospective careers. Um, you got Halloween 6 there. And there you go, like I said, Tony Moran, Rick Rosenthal, directed Halloween 2, Dick Wallach, my personal favorite, Michael Myers. <laughs> um, all kinds of detail. Look at that lovely Danielle Harris. <laughs> uh, George Wilbur, Paul Rudd. <laughs> I love it. It goes over in each actor, and that's really cool. And they got some great pictures, and... All kinds of great stories about my favorite franchise of all time, Halloween. So grab it from ClassicMonsters.com. Uh, and last but not least, I got this cool guide uh, for Christmas uh, by my sister-in-law. Uh, the Ultimate Guide to Stephen King. Yes. Love me a great Stephen King movie adaption. Uh, and this actually does a little countdown of the, the best films. On all kinds of great pictures from the films and talks all about the making of the films uh, awesome artwork look at that from it the recent movie it which was a huge smash hit remake of it Pennywise there look at that <laughs> and there's the man himself Stephen King <laughs> Really cool personal pictures of them. Uh, and that's from the great Creep Show, The Creep. As well as some of the most recent uh, Stephen King adaptions. There's Salem's Lot. Uh, really cool stuff. and It's an excellent retrospective. There's The Shining, which is my personal favorite Stephen King adaption. Uh, there you go. Let's shout out Jack Torrance. And my second favorite Stephen King movie of all time, Misery, the great performance there. Uh, Kathy Bates is just genius in that film. <laughs> just awesome pitches. Uh, look at this. Shelley Duvall in The Shining. How classic. Christine, love it. So there's another excellent uh, retrospective on Stephen King's career. Uh, so there you go, folks. Just a little snippet of some of my collectibles and some of my horror books. I thought I'd show off to you guys to change it up a little uh, so have a great new year and uh, join me again of course as always at the horror corner tune in and stay scared <laughs>